All right, guys, in the car. We got Ashton, we got Brooke. We're meeting a couple people. Talon, his friend, maybe Kyla, maybe Cody. On our way to brunch, right now. See you guys there. If you guys are local, you guys should definitely come here. Swami's Cafe. I've only ever been to the Escondido one. I'll only ever come to the Escondido one. Yeah, guys, we'll meet. We'll meet at 11. Oh. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Did you just wake up? You look like you just woke up. What are you getting? Of course not. What are you getting? I'm actually getting. Strawberry banana pancakes, and then I'm also gonna get classic French toast, and I'm gonna make it a meal with two eggs and bacon. So how about that? I'll get the same thing. You would. All right, guys. Here at Swami's, just got our food. I'm doing strawberry banana pancakes. Look at the size of these things. These things are massive. I'll contact you guys. And then I got an order of plain French toast, and then I also got a side of eggs and bacon. And we got pancakes. Veggie stuff. Talon, what is this? It's a uh, garlic chicken egg white omelet with Dang. two toasts and uh, potatoes. potatoes. It actually looks so bomb. It's good. And then Ash got French toast, French same toast. side. And Brooke got French toast. So we're gonna eat this, and then we're gonna go get donuts. And then we're gonna go in. <laughs> Dude, you guys don't even know. This is like the best donut place in all of the land. All right, guys. We got this one, this one, old fashioned, a buttermilk bar, banana nut muffin, cookies and cream, and then a Vienna cream. So I'm obviously not gonna eat all these right now. I think I'm gonna have half the buttermilk bar and half of the banana nut muffin, and then we'll go work out. So that'll be it. Oh, actually, I'm probably gonna have a little bit of all of this because I wanna try them all, so I'm gonna have a couple bites of each, so nothing too crazy. What'd you guys get? Yeah. Zebra Are you not allowed to sit by me? Is yeah, that you want to be like? Okay, okay. Selfie. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get that selfie. Oh, look at this actually. Oh, the the cream. Yeah. Horn, cream that look horns good? or whatever. Yeah. Did you get that selfie or what? Yeah. Uh, I ate a little bit more than half of that donut. I ate the full muffin, and then I tried every other donut, and I had at least like. 19 bites of every donut. Just kidding. There's like, I think I maybe like finished two of the donuts and the muffin. <laughs> yeah, bro. Edit that out. So uh, we're we're just kind of chilling in the car right now, hilarious. and then just chilling in the car. Probably gonna walk around the mall a little bit to like let things let things uh, digest, and then gonna hit a workout.
super set and push up and push ups and cable curls. Oh, we got Danny over here doing CrossFit. <laughs> I gotta keep it low key. I get in trouble for filming here. Let's go. Depth, depth. Oh God, yeah. I've been cool. Let's see. Let's see those guns. Oh my God. Gun show. Gun show. Jeez. Oh my God. Time to go free. Oh my God. Whoa. Hey, hey, you're in the middle of a set, you're in the middle of a set. Great job, bro. What's up, guys? Next morning, um, we didn't end up going to Culture Shock last night because it was too late after we were done with the workout and we still had to drive all the way up back, back here and then we had to drive down and we only had like an hour and it's like a 45 minute drive so there was like it's like a 20 minute drive to the gym. We had to come here and eat, get ready, and that, but we, would, we just wouldn't have made it. So starting next week, we're gonna be going to Culture Shock to dance on Friday nights. Yeah. And then <clears throat> probably still hit up Lexi on Saturdays now because Lexi has her job now. So the Friday night turnups will turn to Saturday night turnups now. Um, just got out of the shower, just ate breakfast, and we watched Split last night, guys. If you haven't seen Split, or know what it is, it's that movie where this guy kidnaps like three girls, but he has 23 different personalities. It's crazy. It's it's really a, a crazy fucking movie. So, <clears throat> yeah, you should go watch that. But on the agenda today, like I said, we just ate breakfast. Uh, Brooke's coming over real quick, or she's gonna like go to the gym. Her and Ashton were supposed to go this morning, but then they were tired and didn't. So Ashton's at work, and then Brooke's gonna drive down. We're gonna drive down to go to the gym and uh, meet up with Talon. Today's hamstrings and calves. Well, every leg day is calves, but today, today's a leg day hamstring focus. Cause I'm gonna grow these wheels. Uh, yeah. Um, I ended up eating all those donuts yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And I forgot to weigh myself this morning after it because I was hungry. I had client check ins. So I had a bunch of stuff going on this morning. Then Ashley made coffee. So I was just like, oh my god, I was so overwhelmed with amazing stuff. So uh, I, after I ate, I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to weigh myself. Probably a good thing. Cause it's probably like 200,000 pounds. Um, <laughs> so just going to hang out around here this morning for a little bit, finish up my check ins. Um, Watch a little bit of TV, eat some rice cakes and peanut butter for my pre-workout meal, and then go down there and hit hamstrings. And I don't really have anything on the agenda today. So today I might be doing minimal vlogging, and then maybe I'll take you guys to the grocery store tomorrow when Ashton and I go. Okay, so slight agenda change today from what we currently did. We already worked out. Talon didn't come. Ashton didn't come. So it's just Brooke and I. I put her through my hamstring workout wrecked but um my body has been just destroyed ever since prep I was going to the chiropractor twice a month but I wasn't I wasn't getting the progress that I wanted does that make sense like I was going I was feeling better but I kept telling him you know I was like I want my hips to realign because I don't feel like my hips realign I want my shoulders to realign and he was oh, okay yeah yeah same cracks as always so I just overall like he's a great guy he's a great chiropractor my entire body felt amazing but I just wasn't getting what I went there for so I just really haven't had anything done since then and I, I stopped doing that like six weeks out so it's been it's been almost probably three months since I've had any work done on my body whatsoever so I'm driving down the hill right now I booked a last minute uh, deep tissue massage at uh, it's called spa serenity never been there before never really heard of them but nothing nobody up here in Ramona could take me today and my body just hurt so I decided to bite the bullet and do it so I'm gonna go get a massage and then earlier this morning I started watching what the health right here we go I literally cannot believe some of the shit that they say in that if you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, you guys already saw all my posts that I posted about this. If you haven't, if you don't follow me, what are you doing? It's in the description box. But uh, one of the lines that just triggered me was, eating one egg is just as bad health-wise as smoking five cigarettes due to the cholesterol content in the egg. What? 
So, this documentary is literally telling people that if you eat one egg, that is equivalent to smoking five cigarettes. Also, if you have any dairy whatsoever, you will get cancer, no matter what. If you take casein protein, it is the exact same in the brain. Your brain is triggered the exact same as if you do heroin. So therefore, casein protein is the equivalent to taking heroin or to doing, shooting heroin, shooting heroin. Okay. Every expert in that um, documentary is a vegan guru, right? If you're a guru, you wouldn't be a guru if you were able to back your your positioning on a certain topic by science, right? That's the difference between an expert and a guru. A guru is somebody who's been doing something for a long time and swears by it. An expert knows the science behind something and proves it. Does that make sense? So, if you have to label yourself as a guru, I'm probably not gonna take your word for anything you say, right? Now. Before everybody starts getting all fucking crazy in the comment section like you guys love to do on the internet, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a vegan diet. Um, you know, if you want to suffer that way and not eat meat like an American, that's that's on you, man. Um, I love steak, and my body's fine. My blood works fine. 100% healthy. I eat sugar. I eat red meat. I eat chicken. I eat dairy. I eat high cholesterol foods that cause cancer. I eat type one carcinogens, like, God. Whatever works for you is fine, right? Keto, not not for me, not for any of my clients, unless they really want it, but it works. It does, however you wanna control your calories is up to you. Every diet works, as long as it works best for you, right? You just have to find the one that works best for you. So I'm not knocking any diets, just there are some that are more optimal than others. And your body needs carbs, sorry. I don't care what anybody says, your body needs carbs. Uh, if you don't have carbs, your body has a way of making carbs on its own anyways. So don't tell me you don't need carbs. Your body needs carbs. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, so this guy like call, he's calling all these companies. Like he called the Cancer Association and said, excuse me, I'm wondering why I'm looking on your website at the meals that you are are promoting for people to eat when they're scientifically proven that these meals will cause cancer. Can you elaborate on that? And the Cancer Association is going, no. And he's like, well, you know, well, wow, no company will talk to me about it. Hmm, that's shady. No, you're asking dumb fucking questions. Do you call Do you call an airline and say, you, you know, I'm wondering why you're promoting an airplane when, when 9-11 happened and people, you know, terrorists are all over the place. Why aren't you telling people that you can die when you, you can die and your plane can get hijacked? The airline would be like, go fuck yourself. And then you can say, oh, well, I'm not gonna fly with them because they won't even explain to me why they don't tell you that terrorism's, you know, fucking stupid, stupid. Don't watch Netflix. Do your research, get a coach, get their coach, get other people's information, read science studies. Do not watch Netflix documentaries for any credible source of science, especially when it comes to nutrition. This is like the biggest gray area right now. It's the hottest topic. Everybody thinks that their way is the best. Everybody preaches their diet. Oh, I stopped eating this and I lost weight. You're right, because you were probably eating that much food like an asshole, right? If you're eating 47 fucking ounces of steak a day, yeah, you're probably gonna gain weight. And you're probably gonna lose weight when you stop eating that much steak. But people don't think about that. In that documentary, there's actually no mention of calories in versus calories out. There's no calorie deficit or surplus mentioning whatsoever. It's just, people only lose weight when they eat like this. No. People lose weight when they eat less food. That's how the body works, right? You wanna lose weight, eat less. You wanna gain weight, eat more. Don't fucking overcomplicate things. Don't overcomplicate things. Now, my rant's over. I'm gonna see if this lady will let me film a little bit of my massage. She was very um, Asian. <laughs> she was very Asian on the phone, so I don't know if she's gonna be comfortable in front of the camera or not, just because, I don't know. There's like a, there's a definite language barrier when we were talking, so hopefully she kinda understands. I don't know, I'll see.
I feel great. That was a really good massage, guys. I'm like tired. I was like just like having my face in that thing. Like my nose gets all congested, congested. But the one thing that kind of upsets me is when they tell you. So like the massage was it was $50 for an hour, right? She handed me 10 minutes. I like whatever. Sorry, I get it. When you're done, you're done. But then I pay her $50, and then they always go, oh, what, no tip? Nobody tips me for my personal training sessions. Why should I tip you? You told me it was 50. If you wanted more money, why don't you just charge me 60? You know what I mean? How are you gonna ask me, what, no tip? After my massage. What's going on YouTube? We are gearing up to go to the grocery store. What did we even, what was the last thing I even filmed last night? Uh, you were tired? I don't know. I don't think you filmed last night. I think it was my massage. I think all I filmed was coming back from the massage. Oh, when you were half asleep? That was Instagram. Oh. Yeah, I think that was it. Well, what's up guys? It's Sunday. We're about to go to the grocery store, but even though I'm not training today, it's a rest day, I'm still going to take my CLA and oh, carnitine drink. When you guys are taking supplements and stuff, it's good to keep taking them even on your rest days so that they stay in your body, right? A lot of people uh, also I need to take my creatine too, but a lot of people take their supplements throughout the week and then on their rest days they forget to take them because they're usually taking them pre-workout or post-workout or stuff, but take your supplements every day. It'll help, I promise. So yeah, go to the grocery store and uh, See you guys when we get there. I'll take you for a drive. I know you tried these because the whole box is gone. Yes. I have a lot of box. This is the only one I've eaten out of the entire box. Yeah. Yo, this store is insanely packed right now, so I'm gonna shut down the filming. Um, but, but, real quick. I'm so excited to try these. All right, guys, so we're back from the grocery store and just got to let you guys know that Cinnamon Frosted Flakes are a probably a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. Dude, they smell so good. Even smelling them just makes me want to eat them. I had like a little tiny bowl, like maybe maybe an eighth of a cup just to try it out so I could put a taste test on Instagram. It's so good. So there's that. Cooking up some ground beef to finish off my meal prep and... Uh, that is pretty much it. I don't even know how long this this uh, vlog is because it's like a couple days long. I hate when I start getting sporadic, but shit happens in life. You know what I'm saying? It's freaking hot. We don't have AC. So I'm just going to end the video right here. You guys know the spiel. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Send me money. Oreos. Bye.